Yeah. All right. So before I get started, I'd like to take a second to talk about my favorite subject, me. Um, I have been juggling for 23, maybe 24 weeks. Yeah. I practice long minutes a day, six or seven at the most. But this isn't about me. This is about one of my less favorite subjects, you guys. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm sorry. This is the evolution of juggling. So how many people here think that juggling is hard? Yes. Oh, no, not me. No, not you? <laughs> All right, all right that's most, most people. Now, how many people here, because this is a common conception, think that juggling is impossible? And that if you worked at it and practiced and practiced for as long as you could, you would never be able to get the hang of it? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Put raise them up. Don't be shy. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, everybody. So, I'm going to show you that it is not impossible, and that it can, in fact, be done. So, I'm going to need a volunteer. Won't tell me. Me, please. Uh, you already said it was easy. Uh, let's get you up. But I also said it was impossible. All right. So here's what I need you to do. We're going to start easy. We're going to start with one. What I need you to do is I need you to throw this ball from one hand to the other. Okay. But there's a couple tricks. Okay. You could either do it high, do it low, you could do it behind the back, do it under the arm. Do it through the legs. <laughs> so you can just take the ball and you can throw it however you want from one hand to the other. There you go, there you go, certified juggler. Let's give it a round of applause. Yeah. 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 This act is the evolution of juggling, so naturally we need to ramp it up a little. And so this time we're going to use another hand. No, I'm just kidding, we're going to use another ball. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is, does anybody think that they can juggle with two balls, just offhand? Oh, let's get Nick up here, let's get Nick up here. Alright. Alright, here's what I want you to do, I want to take these balls and I want you to juggle them. Alright, 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 alright. How many people think that was juggling? Get them up there. What, yeah. Two, 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 two balls, that was pretty good? Yeah. Well, you are wrong. You know why? Because, and I'm not saying you're bad, this is a common misconception. With two balls, what, look what happens when you exaggerate it. It's just one ball passing it back and forth. So here's what I want you to try to do. I want you to try to take this and try switching them back and forth. Like this. Okay? Because this is the way you do two. If you want, you can do one hand. You can go to the other hand. <laughs> so you do it like that, okay? So I want you to see if you can get a lunch trap. Yeah! All right, all right, that's right! Yeah. 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 certified two professional jugglers in this course of one act. But we're not done evolving there. If we were done evolving there, we'd still be living in the middle of the ocean. So, we need to get a third ball. Does anybody think they can do three balls? Let's see. Uh, you definitely seem like you want to do it. So, oh, let's see, got got three. Let's see what Joseph got. Yeah. yeah. But let's let's see if we can show show you how to improve your technique a little bit. So you got you got the basic. This is called a three ball cascade. You can do a lot with it. You can make it really big. Make it really small. And if you get bored, you can just go two hands, you know, flip it back, get the other hand going. You know, all this fancy stuff. If you get really dizzy because, you know, they're crisscrossing back and forth, you can make them flat. So, you know, you don't, you don't necessarily have to cross them if you don't want to. And, yep, that was on the floor now. <laughs> all right, and, uh, okay, so, what? What, is there something on the side? Ah. Uh, what? Right, Excuse me? What did you say? Oh, uh, what? Okay. More time, more time. So we're just doing this, looking outside, and all of a sudden there's something outside. Throw it over back the end. There we go. Yeah. I would, I would actually like to apologize for that. Not because I dropped one, because when juggling that has to happen, you need to drop them to get better. But because it is incredibly rude to turn your back on the audience. So even though I thought something was outside, what I really should have done, instead of going back and turning my back on you guys, I should have done something a little like this. <laughs> Never juggled in front of this many fine faces before. <laughs> yeah, all right. Woo! Oh yeah, you can sit down. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I don't like being kept up on stage. You're kind of driving me off the wall, you know. <laughs> But, yeah, 
I built the one other trick I have to show you guys is something that's actually a lot harder than it looks. It's called the flash, which is when you just take all balls, just throw them in the air, and you catch them all at the same time. Whoa. So you don't necessarily need to be holding them. If your arms get tired, you can just give them a little shake out, and you just catch them like that. Oh. And so that's normally how I end my performance. I'm going to try something that I haven't really perfected yet, not that I've perfected anything else for you guys. So I'm just going to give them a little flash right here. No, no, that wasn't good. Okay. There you go. Here we go, John.